In this animation, we'll be examining how I.O. forces are accomplished using the PLC Logic simulation software package. The force instruction is used to override the state of a physical input or output address. I.O. can be forced on or off regardless of the state of the field device or program execution. This technique is extremely useful for troubleshooting field device problems in PLC controlled applications. For this example, we'll be using this simple 7 rung conveyor car wash program in order to illustrate how the force instruction is employed. In our scenario, the operator is determined that there may be an issue with the soap pump dispenser. To troubleshoot the pump associated with the soap dispenser without a vehicle being in the wash, the operator will employ the force instruction and force the output connected to the soap pump high, which should turn the soap pump on. We'll now take a moment and look at the steps required to cause an input or output to be forced to a given state. We'll begin by placing the controller in run mode. The status and presence of forces in the application is displayed in the upper left hand corner of the interface. At this point, forces are disabled and none have been installed. To enable any existing forces, we click on the down arrow for the forces drop down box to bring up the forces menu. From the forces menu, we click on IO forcing to bring up a list of the available force options. From this location, you can enable, disable, or remove all specified forces in the application. We'll now move on and illustrate how I.O. forces can be specified using the PLC Logic simulation software. To begin, we click on the Programs tag to bring up the Tag Monitor. The Tag Monitor brings up a list of all tags available in the application. Forces are defined using the force mask field. A value of 1 or 0 is entered into the field next to the corresponding input or output location in order to force the input or output into a desired state. We locate the tag associated with the soap pump output and enter a value of 1 to force this output on. The desired value can be entered by double clicking on the force mask field associated with the desired input or output. Once the force has been defined, the force status changes to installed. Also note that the indicator begins blinking yellow on and off. We now return to the main program to view the force instruction in action. From the menu, we select Enable All I.O. Forces in order to activate our desired force instruction condition. With the force enabled, the indicator stops blinking and remains a solid yellow. The forced output in the latter logic program shows an indication of ON, denoting the current state of that output. To disable the force, we return to the Forces menu. We select the Disable All Forces option to revert to the program execution state of this output. As has been shown, I.O. forcing is simple and easy to accomplish when simulating PLC controlled applications using PLC Logix simulation software. PLC Logix is offered as a standalone application or is sold as part of the Logic Sim tool suite. For more information on Logic Design products, visit our website or call us at the number shown here.